understand how important it is to know how to defend yourself. And a lot of guys, I, new generation come up to me. They don't have to know how to defend myself. I feel like, man, it's not for me anymore. No, it's a lot more for me now than never. Learn how to defend yourself because if I know how to defend myself, I know how to get somebody. I know now what do I need to avoid to succeed on my choke, my arm bar, improve my control. It works both ways. If I learn how to get, I have to learn how to not let the people get me. A lot of times my training, my whole class, skip from the mouth. I don't tell my students, oh, I'm a mouth professor, oh my god. They mouth 20 times, I skip 20 times. You get better and better each time. Every part of your game. And the things are this, in a short run, you will have pieces of the game that you do better than anybody. But it requires patience. Be in that position a thousand times. <coughs> How many times you've been mounted on your jiu-jitsu life? For me, I can tell at least 10,000. I should know now that I should not stretch my arm. I should not turn my back. And jiu-jitsu has a fun way to show us it's first we have to learn how to learn. Then we learn how to teach. If I don't know how to learn, I'm not going to be able to progress. You have to open your mind and ask questions. And not have the ego. A lot of times, oh, they might start to see that a lower belt got me. I don't get me wrong. I don't care what other people would think. I care how much better I want to get. You have trains that you train, that you want to prove yourself. And you have most of your training to prove yourself. That's why, how do I learn how to skip from the back if nobody has my back? I start the defense work this way. From the worst position, imagine now, how can I make one step prior to the worst position? That's where my defense should be. You can say, oh, how do I get up an armbar? Okay, it becomes percentage. Am I get out? Might not, the arm might be popped. Now I'll make one step before the end. That's where my defense has to be perfect. Not let anybody get that far. That's the defense. Defense that you already trapped. Oh, guy choked me here, trapped my leg, bone in the arrow, how do I get out? <laughs> maybe you get out, maybe not. I'm being realistic. But how the person get that far on you? That's where defense should be focused. Every time I have an ending, make one step prior. How that position happened. I will never let that happen ever again. That's why when people get you, I want to go one step prior to that ending. That's where the mistake, the chance to get out was. I don't gamble in jiu-jitsu. I like certainty. It's a perfect map. I train with somebody. I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. There's no scrim. Oh, I was lucky. It's funny. I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. But a lot of people in my school comes, not anymore, because I prohibit them. Professor, I can't do this technique. OK. You said you can't. Oh, you're done. <laughs> I had trouble doing this technique. There's no such a thing I can't. That does not exist in my vocabulary, on my book, on my life. Oh, I can't do that. Why not? It's up to you, OK? And the mindset in Jiu-Jitsu is very important. Intimidation is very important. A lot of times, a lot of guys, they know how to play their well. Start the training, they go, hold you like, oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy's going to kill me. No such a thing. You have to learn how to deal with those what we call fear, fear of what? <coughs> I'm not going to jump on the 20th floor of the building. I'm a fear of that. And I guess that's smart. But when you see this guy's big, this guy's small, this guy's black, this guy's black, who cares? You have to believe in your game. And you might be surprised the simple fact of mind change, mindset, makes your game already 100 times better than it was before. I cannot. Yes, you can. Tell that to the people that made it. Oh, you can't. Oh, 
I'm looking at the What's that I can't? I'm here. And we all start as a white belt. We all have our goals. We all have hit walls. We never hit like a plateau in your jiu-jitsu. You are about to turn the table in an amazing way. Do not stop. Oh, my jiu-jitsu, no, I don't know. Nothing works. You are about to reverse something in your game. And you're pretty soon going to do it. But if you stop, you never know. You stop. Keep going. You're going to hit the wall a lot of times. And something's about to improve on your game. Jiu-Jitsu is no way back. You don't get worse. Oh, I was so good. No, people are getting better. But you're not getting worse. you got to catch up with them. Sometimes people, oh, that guy's so much better than me. He trains seven days a week. He trains two days a week. And you put in a scale, that's reality. But please, don't go like, oh, I can't. This is so hard. There are many things easy in your life, but it's too easy. Good for you, not for many people. And Jiu-Jitsu demands a lot of patience, a lot of dedication. It's a martial arts style that doesn't come from six months from now, I'm amazing, maybe six years. It's a long time process because we have to learn how to move our body better. We have to teach our body to naturally do better movements. A lot of exercise to improve my net, my control, my movement when I lie down. <coughs> a lot of things involved. And most of all, your mind, your brain. If your brain is not there, your jiu-jitsu is not there. The jiu-jitsu is amazing how we feel that change. You, people that train understand that. Sometimes we talk to people that don't train, they look at you like, this guy's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I think you are crazy not to do the jiu-jitsu. It's amazing. Any more questions? I don't know what time it is. I don't know. You're the clock man, man. 9.51. 9.51, yes. Uh, any more questions, guys? Let's do it.